payment of these loans. And if you look at some of the remote areas in this country, this is not a adjournment debate, by, but some constituencies are very less privileged when it comes to this. So we want to know, let, we, let us be given the 1,000 schools that you have. We want to have the list of these 1,000 schools so that in our assessment, in our oversight function, we can target these schools and see the implementation process and how, whether the implementation has been participatory and inclusive, because if it is not participatory and inclusive, they would not take good care of it. The schools where you are going to install these projects and the hospitals, it has to be participatory. They need to understand the project so that they can take the project as they are on. For it to be sustainable, it has to be participatory and inclusive. And some of our constituencies are very less privileged. Very, very less privileged. Some time ago, I traveled down my constituency and found that um, uh, the hospital, the major health center in my constituency is not having an electricity, neither solar. And therefore, this is a government project that is meant to improve the health condition in various health centers where you are targeting and to improve the teaching and learning in various schools where you are targeting. So it's important that you identify those things and you go to the places where it is most needed for it not to be politicized. Now we want to do away with that. For loans to come into this parliament and they are ratified, we all participate for the implementation to go out there for the benefit of the Gambian people. And this has been politicized. We cannot handle that. We cannot handle that. If these projects are going to be implemented, let implementation be participatory and citizens know that this is their monies. These are loans that was taken on their behalf and they're going to pay it, but not in a form of politics, in the disbursement or in giving of these projects. Honorable Speaker, one question that I want to ask, when I was going through the other paper, the, um, uh, the agreement, one of the agreements, uh, which is uh, the point, uh, 11.8, entry into force. It says, this contract will enter into force upon the bank confirming receipt of the instrument of ratification duly signed by the President of the Republic of the Gambia and sealed with the public seal of the Republic of the Gambia, confirming that the Parliament of the Republic